Bill Cuban said yesterday the first play will go to Ferguson, and sure enough, it does on a swing pass. Ferguson across the 25 and is out of bounds near the 30. An element he brings to this team, Glenn, stays in the tailback. Here's Lunt under center. And again to Ferguson. Or try to bounce it outside. Makes a great move across the 40. Right. The numbers there where the line I are in the conference. The numbers offensively not pretty. And the snap goes to Ferguson. Makes a spin and is hit across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of five. And that's exactly what Bill Cuban was hoping for in his return. I know I'm going to be redundant, but... Uh, if his shoulder's okay, he's going to be fine because, you know, you can't play running back to running back. Illinois 11th in the conference on third down, around 37%. The swing pass incomplete. Is looking for Ferguson. Fullback Nathan Eckert in front of the tailback. And this is Ferguson across midfield for a first down. Needed one, got seven. First out, Illinois' defensive coordinator sidelines as well this is a much improved Illinois defense on the end around this is Ferguson across the 30 up a lot of different places you can see him they've got him out at flanker right now and he's gonna come in on the motion they're gonna fake the two-man run give it to him and do you think they've missed this guy the last couple weeks Ferguson and Keyshawn Vaughn line up in the backfield, but now Vaughn in motion. And Lunt rolling. He'll just chuck this one away. Yeah, you watch it. There's something wrong here again. Uh, you know, it looks like to me the way the linemen were pulling, I think it was going to be a shovel pass, but there was... Up through the play here today. Second down and long for Lunt. And the screen pass. This is Ferguson. Picks up a block. Drops the shoulder. And plows forward across the 45-yard line. It moves that time from senior from Naperville, Illinois, Josh Ferguson. You talk about good moves, and then he's going to run into his own man, Desmond Kane. He says, come on, man, I, I got to dodge them. I can't dodge you, too. <laughs> Go block somebody. Fun on this drive is four for four. This is a third and 16. Want with time, looking deep, and cannot be caught. Looking for Turner. Well, he was on the move. He had a receiver wide open. He just threw it a little, little wide. Quarterback to get in any kind of rhythm. And Rick Bill Cuban told us this week regarding practice, they can't be too physical during the week because of the injuries. As Ferguson runs to the outside, there's the ground game, and he picks up nearly 10. Dual threat quarterback. And safety. One pass is caught by Ferguson, spins away from one, keeps his feet, but now dropped. Good pursuit that time for the Boilermakers from their own 42. It's Turner in motion. And off inside it goes to Ferguson, spinning across the 45, driving forward across midfield. That's what I'm talking about. Six. Yeah, you look at it right there, good line blocking. You see Ted Karras, man, he comes from a football family, folding around, leading the way, and impressive run. Karras today, to the numbers on Ferguson today. Six carries, approaching 60 yards. And here he is again. As he'll drop the left shoulder and get inside the 40, and here comes the penalty marker thrown from the Illinois sideline. His four or five games, the hamstring injury. There's the play right there, grabbing the face mask with Ferguson across the 15. The opening quarter. though with Ferguson as he bounces it outside and beats Herman off the edge. He'll have a first down inside the 15-yard line. You know, Corey, you talk about first five drives the Eli and I had this game. They only ran three running plays. This drive alone on first downs, three running plays. You sense just a fresh player. Ferguson the tailback on second down at 10. The screen set up here as Ferguson has blockers. The five, the end zone, touchdown, Illinois. Your point pending. Yeah, it's it's a it's a great call and even better execution. You see Chris Bowles, the guard down there. Now Crouch has both Ferguson and Vaughn with him in the backfield. First carry this half for Ferguson, and it goes for a loss. Jake McClogle. 
Blew that play up behind the line of game. Yeah, it looked like a big hole, and Josh was dancing in the backfield. I think he was looking for the inside cut. I think he would have hit it. He'll fake the handoff, trying to set up the screen, and he does. Ferguson picks up a block. Ferguson tripped up inside the 40-yard line. Josh Ferguson. With the carry, and Ferguson room to run. Down the sideline. Lowers the shoulder across midfield. It's just 22 personnel, two backs, two tight ends, off tackle power. Everybody blocks down, backside guard, pulls around, fullback kicks out, and... 100 yards rushing at 104. And on first down, here he is again. Makes a great cut. Allison blocking. Ferguson inside the 30. Two carries, two big runs for Ferguson. Same play, except he cuts it backside. Second down and 14 for Lund. And he'll swing it. Here is Ferguson. Stiff arm. Ron Hunt made the tackle. Two back. It's Ferguson. Dancing around. Inside the 10. First down marker was at the 7. He got right there. Yeah, this is not a well bought play. This is all Josh Ferguson. And, you know, this is his first game back. I'm just thinking to myself, if, if I'm Coach Cuban, I put another score on the board, I might say, you know, let's not overdo it the first day back. You know, we got.